ఎంపీసీ డాక్టర్ ఆర్ ఓబులో కొండారెడ్డి ప్రొఫెసర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ సిఎస్సి సైబర్ సెక్యూరిటీ టుడే విల్ డిస్కస్ ఆన్ నీడ్ ఆఫ్ మోర్ కంప్యూటింగ్ పవర్ అండ్ గ్రాండ్ ఛాలెంజెస్ అప్లికేషన్స్ ఇన్ హై పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ కంప్యూటింగ్ దట్ దట్ విల్ సీ ద డిఫరెంట్ అప్లికేషన్స్ సో సాల్వింగ్ టెక్నాలజీ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ యూజింగ్ యూజింగ్ కంప్యూటర్ మోడలింగ్ సిమ్యులేషన్ అండ్ అనాలిసిస్ సో సాల్వింగ్ టెక్నాలజీ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ లైక్ వి టేక్ ఫర్ లైఫ్ సైన్సెస్ ఏరోస్పేస్ జియో జియోగ్రాఫిక్ జియోగ్రాఫిక్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ సిస్టమ్స్ క్యాట్ క్యాట్ కంప్యూటర్ ఎయిడెడ్ డిజైన్ అండ్ కంప్యూటర్ ఎయిడెడ్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరింగ్ నవ్ డిజిటల్ బయాలజీ ఇన్ బయాలజీ ద డిజిటల్ టెక్నాలజీ హౌ వీల్ అప్లై మిలిటరీ అప్లికేషన్స్ ఫర్ సెక్యూరిటీ రీజన్స్ we have to see the different solving technology problems using computer modeling simulation and analysis this is the thing now see here now what is the representative cluster systems well, so what is the representative clusters cluster systems in first one we discuss with berkeley berkeley now so berkeley now now is the full form of network of workstations berkeley network of workstations project this is the first stage we discuss under that representative cluster systems now in this system it is a large number of it is a large scale parallel computer systems now berkeley now is a it is a building demonstrate building large scale of parallel computer system using mass produced commercial workstations it is to produce with a uh, commercial workstations and latest community with a switch based network components so berkeley now it has to it has to be building with a large scale computer parallel computer systems and uh, it has to be used used for mass produced commercial workstations and latest community with a switch based network components so that is the project work then under this one we will see inter process communications so inter process in between the each nodes in a cluster each node we have communicated in between each nodes then that has to use for a messages active messages or past messages now what is the role of inter process communication under this one we discuss with the layer active messages what is the role of active messages that is basic communication primitive primitives in berkeley now systems berkeley now clusters and it has to be a simplified remote procedure call that can be implemented efficiently on a wide range of hardware this is the thing that uh, that was happened in a active message and next thing is gl unix global layer unix this is like a, uh, this has to be provide transparent remote execution this it has the os one of the os layer it has to be designated with a provide transparent remote executions remote executions support for uh, supported for either interactive parallel and sequential jobs load balancing and the backward compatibility for different applications existing applications and also it's provide to cluster wide name spaces like uh, network pids that's uh, short form to write as npids and virtual node machines virtual node numbers vnns dns like so these three points we discuss over that berkeley network of workstations now see the next thing is architecture of now systems how it works in now systems now this is a myra net is a fast it is a fast commercial switches fast commercial switches which has to be interacted with a node with a which has to be it as a, each one is considered as a node in a cluster cluster environment then the node which has to contain that uh, pc or workstations active messages active messages is provide a communication primitive in between like a hardware and workstations like each node contain the same thing now workstations a name is active messages and the network interface hardware so this am will be communicated with uh unix workstations or unix workstations or network interface hardware or pcr workstations network inter- interface hardware 
so each one is considered as a each node it is called as a node one it is a node two it is a three four and so on like that in cluster systems a number of nodes we have to maintain this is a architecture overall architecture of a uh, now systems then now network of workstations then gl unix what is the gl unix you know previously we discussed about that what is the gl unix it is to provide a transparent uh, it has to provide transparent remote execution now gla it has to provide a transparent remote executions now the system wherever now that it has to be remotely executed a remote uh, what is a here yeah, now so provide transparent remote executions provide transparent remote executions now that has to be done with a gl unix systems and uh, it has to be see the resource management and network area distributed file systems and process migrations one process may be executed with a different systems process migration also we we'll see distributed files maybe uh, some systems are uh, maybe id so we have to distribute the files also next network tab and resource management effectively it utilizes the different resources and network so see this one gl unix remotely uh, that that was to be executed and uh, these are all the different uh, sequential applications like application 1 2 3 4 and so on a number of sequential application has to be interacted with the gl unix and uh, parallelly it has to be take with the parallel applications that are uh, parallel applications the application should run uh, in same time that has to be executed the applications parallel parallel in this is similar say uh, simultaneously it has to be executed the process uh, execute the <coughs> task now the parallel application it has to be connected with a socket socket is a, it is a uh, connection uh, from front end to back end uh, front system like uh, it is client server client server systems the client to connected with a server the sockets through a sockets you have to connect uh, uh, connection has to be establishment in between a client to server systems then spike uh, spike c mpi message passing interface spf and uh, bsn so these are all the different thing that has to be parallel application has to be interacted with the socket the socket has to be sockets and uh, this uh, sequential applications are interacted with the gl unix the gl unix will work with a nodes different number of nodes are connected in a cluster cluster environment that through with a, everything done with a, a fast commercial switches that has used with a myrani so this is a now system architecture this is architecture of now system network of workstation different uh, in a, uh, cluster environment high, high performance computing environment we have to connect it with a different nodes that nodes overall working structure is like so second thing we observe uh, representative cluster system to and uh, again we will see the berkeley net uh, berkeley network of workstations berkeley now project so under this one in addition the previous slide it has to be see the network ram network ram what is a network ram it has to allow the utilize free resources and ideal missions this ideal missions as a paging device for busy missions allow to utilize free resources on ideal missions this is uh, acting as a like paging device for busy missions serverless and second thing we'll see in network ram serverless any mission can be a server when it is an id whenever clients raise a request they, whenever the uh, uh, mission has to be id it act as a server so client when it needs to more memory um, more memory then physical available then physically available so serverless in the sense any mission in a device in a cluster environment so any mission it has to be ideal that act as a server it is it is the concept name is called as serverless next thing is xfs so serverless network file system xfs network network file systems serverless network file systems it has to be used with a distributed file systems a serverless or distributed file systems which attempt to have low latency the accessing time has to be reduced and high bandwidth access to a file data in a distributed environment and the second thing is and the second thing is the function of loading data in network file system distributed by having each client responsible for serving request on a subset of the files in a distributed environment the client responsible for serving request on a subset of the files 
and the file data is stripped, stripped across multiple clients to provide high bandwidth for providing uh, uh, high bandwidth. So file data is stripped across multiple clients. This is under this is to discuss with a representative cluster system too. And third thing is high performance virtual missions. Shack found it right as a HPV, high performance virtual mission. So it has to be deliver supercomputer performance and low cost systems. Cards, low cost systems. High performance, super uh, performance on a low cost systems. Deliver supercomputer performance on a low cost systems. That is called as IPV, uh, HPV, high performance virtual missions. Deliver supercomputer performance on a low cost systems. Hide the complexities, other thing is, other important thing is, hide the complexity of a distributed systems behind clean interface. This is the second thing. Complexity, what are the difficulties in the distributed environment? That has to be a clean interface. It has to provide a clean interface. And what are the challenges addressed by the HPV, high performance virtual machine? The first challenging is delivering high performance communication to standard high level application programming interfaces. High performance communication to standard high level, uh, standard high level application programming. And second thing is coordinating scheduling and research resource management. It has to be coordinated uh, scheduling, which, uh, which process has to be executed first and which one has to be go for third, something. It has to be scheduling the algorithm and the resource management also. Printers. You can utilize the effective resources on a cluster environment. And third thing is managing heterogeneity. Different uh, things will appear. Then it has to be managing the heterogeneity. Heterogeneity. So this is we talk about the representative cluster three. High performance virtual mission. This is the layered high performance virtual mission layered architectures. Different applications in the first level we will we'll see here now. So applications, the, the applications has to be interacted with the fast messages or MPI, message passing interface, say shared memory and the global address. So the applications are interacted with these things, second layer. And the second layer has to be interacted with the fast messages. Fast messages. The fast messages will see the network switches that MyraNet or Ethernet or other switches. Socket. Socket is used for connection establishment. From source to destination, it has to be a client to server, it's a, it has to be established the connection. So, this is a architecture, layered architecture uh, we observe in a high performance virtual machine. The applications are interacted with a second layer. The second layer will see the fast messages that, uh, that has to be sent with a MyraNet switches, fast hidden uh, switches. And uh, inside of this, it has a socket also. Fast messages we have established the connections. Then that has to be used uh, the Ethernet or maybe a Myra. This is a layered architecture. We see the high performance virtual machine. And uh, next thing is the representative cluster systems. Both one high performance again continuation of that one high performance virtual machine. Fast messages. The key role uh, in the previous architecture we will observe that fast messages. What is the major things we will see in the fast messages? Now here in the layered architectures we have to key role in a fast messages. What is the role of uh, what what is the role of fast messages in a high performance virtual messages? Now see here it has to provide a high bandwidth and low latency communication protocol based on Berkeley active messages. And the second thing is contain which has to contain as a functions for sending long and short messages and for extracting messages from the network. This is the second thing. Functions for sending a long and short messages and also extra extracting messages from the network also. And the third thing is third role, third important thing is guarantees and control the memory hierarchy. It has to be a guarantee that controls guarantee and control the memory hierarchy and next thing is guarantees reliable and ordered packet delivery as well as the control over the schedule of communication work. 
and next thing is and next thing is originally developed an cray t3d and a cluster of spark stations connected by myronic rod so here now low level software interface that delivery hardware communication performance high level layers interface offers greater functionalities application portability and easy of use so these are all the roles we observed under the past instances now under the fifth thing view of projects now this one investigate the potential of pc clusters it has to be potential of pc cluster investigate the pc cluster for performing computational tasks view of of projects it has to be a, investigate the pc cluster for performing computational tasks and it has it has also record with a popc file of pcs file of pcs it has to be described with a loose ensemble or cluster of pcs loose ensembles or cluster of pcs which has described at popc and next other thing is emphasize the use of mass market community components and the dedicated processors and use of the private communication networks and actually the best overall system cost performance ratio of the clusters so these are all the things we observe under the view of project now continuation of this one view of project that contain the system software the system software the system purposes we have used a software that is called as a system software it is under the system software grandel grandel so now this is a collection of which has a collection of software tools grandel is a collection of software tools and it has a maintain with resource management and support distributed applications and the, the system software is grandel it is a collection of software tools and it it has to be a maintain with the resource management which resources are ideal we have to which resources are free now it has to be maintain with the resource management and the support distributed applications and next thing is the communication how it has to be communicated so here used through tcp ip over ethernet internet uh, internal uh, internal to the cluster it is it was used with the tcp ip and employ multiple ethernet networks it has to be uh, deployed employ with the multiple ethernet networks in parallel to satisfy the internal data transfer uh, internal data transfer bandwidth is required multiple ethernet networks in parallel for doing of this so we have to use data transfer purposes we use for a bandwidth and uh, this can be actually with a channel binding techniques so this is the way we have to communicate in a be of process another thing is extend the linux kernel to allow loose ensembles of nodes to participate in a number of global nodes and two global process ids what are that it has to be a uh, npm the previously we discussed that n p ids n n n previously we discussed that are global process ids so here global process id is at global layer index bns here independent of external libraries which has contain the schemes as independent of external libraries and uh, gpid global process id is process virtual mission compatible with the pvm parallel virtual mission parallel virtual mission task id format and uses parallel virtual mission as its signal transfer so these are all the two schemes used under gpi 
independent of external libraries it has to be independent of external libraries and then second thing is gpid parallel virtual mission which has to be compatible with a parallel virtual mission task id format and uses evm as its signal transport and seventh thing solaris is mc this is also high performance operating system for clusters this distributed distributed operating system for multi computer it has to be a distributed operating system for a multi computer a cluster of computing nodes connected by a high speed interconnect different different nodes has to be connected with a high speed interconnect and it is provided as a ssi ssi single system image which is appear like a total cluster systems has appeared as a uh, it has to make a cluster appear as a single mission to a user applications and the network also this ssi advantages of ssi is single system image total cluster systems all resources and their systems has to be uh, appeared as a single for uh, users applications and the network it is built as a globalization layer on the top of the existing solar assist kernels what are the features that will contain here so this will solar assist cmc the features as extend existing solar assist operating systems which has to be extended uh, existing solar assist operating system reserve the existing solar assist api and uh, api application programming interface complex and provide support for high availability always it is not to fail failure rate is very less always the systems are ready to do the work now and uh, other thing is uh, uses c++ idl corba in the kernel in the kernel it has to use c++ idl and corba in the kernel and leverages is spring technology which has to fall for spring technology leverages is spring technology. this is a solar assist mc success so the applications are interconnected with the kernel this is the process of this total box is under the kernel the applications are interacted with the kernel what is the process internally the kernel which contains as a system call interfaces and inside of that networking connections file system processors c++ and object frameworks and then existing solaris 2.5 kernels so here the advantage is we can update it from solaris operating system then here other nodes it has to interact with the other nodes and this is total solar assist of mc architecture now this is observed that the previous diagram that it has to be formed with the framework totally it has to be formed with object oriented framework for communication between nodes totally it has to be used for object oriented object oriented object this is a thing object oriented framework has to be created object oriented framework for communication between your nodes it has to be formed with a core bar based on it has to be formed object oriented framework has to be created with a core bar provide a remote object method invocations and provide object reference counting and support multiple object handlers and the ssi features as the single system image features as global file systems like a distributed file system called it is called as a proxy file system pxfs which has to provide with a globalized file system without need for modifying the existing file systems and second thing is globalized process management and the globalized network and i these are all the features will contain that ssi image under the solaris is gems which has a object oriented framework which is uh, based on a core bar and uh, which provide as remote object method invocations it has to call with a remote me uh, object method calling and it has to be object reference counting and uh, it supported with multiple object handlers the ssi which has contained the ssi solaris is mc which contain as ssi single system image features that has global file systems and the globalized process management and globalized network and i input out now this is a table we cluster system uh, comparison matrices so here the project names has different view of berkeley now 
high performance virtual machines, solar SCMC. These are all the different project names. The platforms uh, BFF use personal computers and the communication has multiple Ethernet with the TCP IP. Operating system which use Linux and Grendel. Other MPI and uh, parallel virtual machine, so virtual machine, socket and HPF. So these are all the other things can be used with BFF. And the Berkeley now, which has to use platform as a solar assist based personal computers and the workstations. Communication has used for MyraNet and active messages, AM. So Berkeley, which use platform as a solar assist based personal computer and workstations. And the communication purpose to use MyraNet and active messages. And the operating systems to use solar assist, GLE, Linux, XFS. Other systems as other systems are used active messages, parallel virtual missions, message passing interface, SP or spell C. These are the other things used in Berkeley now systems. And high performance virtual missions as high performance virtual missions PCs uh, use the platform as PCs, personal computers, communication purpose to use MyraNet and uh, fast messages. And uh, New technologies are Linux connection and uh, Global Resource Manager plus LSF. These are all the operating systems. And other things for Java front end, Java front end, fast messages, socket, global arrays, shared memory, and API, message passing interfaces. Now see Solar Assist MCs. This project has to be used platform as Solar Assist based PCs and workstations. Communication purpose to use Solar Assist supported. And operating system has Solar Assist Plus and uh, globalization layer. Other things to use for C and Cobra to use for this. So, this is overall table project and their platform and uh, communication, what type of operating system, other things, what it has to be required. So, this is a one of the table which help for cluster system comparison matrix. So, I take the references from this test group high performance cluster computing architecture and systems, volume 1 by the VM. Okay. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.